Hi everyone, we are back again with yet another video. Uh, last time when I put up a video on inner joins, I was told by my learning community that, you know, why don't you make videos on all other table joins as well. So I thought, okay, let's go for it. So th this time we have a video on left join. So to explain this, I have uh, a very, very simple example. So what I've done right now is I have an Excel sheet containing some sales data. So one sheet has the salesman details and another sheet has the individual sales transaction. So let me just import that. We'll first explore the salesman data and have a quick look as to how the data looks like. Okay, so we just have two columns. That is the sales rep and the region. And let's have a look at the sales data. Okay, so here I have the individual transactions for each of the salesperson. So that's what I have here. So now what kind of relationship is this? So basically it's a one to many relationship because one salesperson, say for example, Alan Ramos can have multiple sales transactions, correct? So it's a one to many relationship that we are trying to build between these two data sets, right? So now we need to decide what kind of join uh, needs to be done to ensure that this data is properly merged. So we will explain that as we do it. So let's do this. So now we have salesman and sales data sets. And now we will need to specify what join to use. So now there could be an instance where you have a salesman, say for example, Andrew Mayer, who does not have a sales transaction. May Let's say he is joined newly in the company and he is not having a sales transaction yet. So in this scenario, you would, st if, if you still want to show the uh, sales details, I mean the salesperson details, you will need to ensure that all records on the left, that is your salesman data set, needs to be visible. Even if there are no transactions from the right data set, that is the sales data set. Okay, so in this scenario, we will say left. So that means even if there are no transactions for a particular salesperson, it will still show all their records, right? And uh, for example, if a salesperson does not have records, it will it will give null records for the transaction data set. Okay, so let's do that. And then what are we merging it on? So what column is uh, common between both these two data sets? So that is sales rep. Okay, perfect. Let's do that. Okay, that's done. Now let's explore our data. Okay, perfect. So we have managed to get it done. So now the sales rep and the region details have got added into the uh, merged data set. Everything looks good here. So as you can see, uh, see Alan Ramos here has multiple sales transactions and it is clearly visible. So, and it's, it's, uh, it's looking good. Okay, so now let's uh, check for a scenario uh, to see if there is a salesperson who does not have any transaction. So let's first see if there are any null records here. So we will have a look. Okay, so we have one null record. So that means there is a salesperson who does not have transaction details. Okay, so let's find out that salesperson. So there we go. Let's do a filtering here. Uh, we can filter on any of these uh, columns which have null and let's do this okay now let's run this and see okay so we found the salesperson who doesn't have any transaction so that's the index number the name of the salesperson and the transaction details which are showing as null values hope you understood how this uh, left join works Please leave your comments uh, in the in the section below and thanks for watching.